algorithmic trading um, project at RBS uh, since December. What, what, are, what are some of the development details of that project? Okay, uh, we started uh, in earnest a large-scale implementation of new solutions for interest rates algorithmic trading uh, in RBS uh, at that time since December. And this particular project, uh, project it's not the only one we are doing, but uh, probably one of the highest profile projects, uh, is concerned with modeling stochastic volatility parameters for uh, various algorithmic trading strategies, for arbitrage, uh, volatility arbitrage, for optimal execution of uh, interest rate uh, orders, for other purposes, uh, using calibration of stochastic volatility parameters in real measure. And I believe what we are doing is highly innovative and to some extent completely unique. Uh, the project requires um, very uh, fine quantitative solutions and is also very much computationally intensive. It had been in development since December, as you pointed out, last year. Now the first set of solutions, the first uh, family of methods, uh, is already implemented and uh, works completely to our satisfaction. We are currently working on a second solution set, which we believe is going to be even better than the first one. And we have been using MATLAB throughout the whole development cycle. Yeah. I mean, why, 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 why did you go with MATLAB? What benefits does it give you? Yes, MATLAB was, using, was used for prototyping primarily of a large number of numerical algorithms because at the onset of the project it was completely unclear which of numerical methods are going to work and which are not due to very strict uh, convergence and other requirements. It is convergence, computational, intense, uh, computational efficiency, uh, conservation of probability mass, uh, of all numerical stability, uh, a number of other issues. So, for example, we tried out seven major numerical methods with local variations of each of them. And eventually only one combination of methods and very specific parameters set up appeared to be working out in this case. So it would be totally unproductive to uh, implement all these methods immediately, uh, let's say, in C++ or Java, because the development costs are high and time deli to delivery is long in this case. So what we're looking for is to use MATLAB uh, for a rapid prototyping of our solutions to see as quickly as possible which methods are going to work and which methods are not going to work. And that way, by cutting out uh, solutions which appear to be uh, just uh, wrongly taken branches, we arrived at uh, the only solution which did work. And once uh, this solution was fully prototyped in MATLAB and uh, the proof of concept obtained, then for production use we are going to, uh, well, one solution is already implemented and the second one is being implemented uh, in C++ with uh, NVIDIA CUDA um, hardware, yes. So you mentioned there's going to be a, a phase two of the project which will be even better than phase one. So what, what are some of the goals of the deliverables that you're looking for from this project? Uh, the primary goal is a really high accuracy of um, parameter calibration. This is very difficult to achieve. We are working in uh, parametric spaces of dimensionality at least seven or at most ten. And uh, some parameters are relatively easy to calibrate because there is a good sensitivity of the likelihood functions to these parameters. Other parameters are very difficult to calibrate, like, uh, for example, mean reversion rate for volatility. So obviously very high precision of construction of uh, our likelihood functions is essential. And that way, uh, the first method we implemented, uh, it relies upon a very fine-tuned procedure. Uh, I'm going to talk about this actually in our presentation today, uh, using uh, Fortier Planck, uh, modified Fortier Planck partial differential equations, which can only be integrated if uh, you correctly select the time step, uh, the domain, the solution domain. Uh, and other parameters. So just one single suboptimal parameter in the whole uh, setup and you get uh, either wrong results or poor convergence or uh, one way or another you do not get what you want. So uh, this way uh, we did eventually construct the solution which is uh, satisfactory and quite okay for us. But uh, A, we would still like to improve runtime performance 
it is already okay at the moment, so we can use it for calibration of our models, uh, but we now know how to do it better. And secondly, we want uh, a second, uh, more analytical and independent way of verifying this solution. So that's why second stage uh, phase two is being implemented now. It would provide a completely independent confirmation of the whole quantitative analytics using a completely different uh, set of quantitative methods. And we believe it is going to be much more computationally efficient uh, than the original one. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.